So John, it's a pot of about $17.5 million. How far do you all expect this money to go in reaching these venues? Brianna, uh, we see it as a big component part of Governor Murphy's uh, commitment to an equitable and fair recovery. We're trying to work with as many uh, venues, producers, promoters, marketers as we can. Uh, and we really are working to hit those marketers, producers, promoters, and venues in the most impacted communities in New Jersey. Uh, so we think that we're gonna have some impact uh, by spreading it pretty far, and then also making sure that it is a, uh, a pretty sizable award of up to 300,000 uh, in some cases. So who's eligible for this? How do they go about applying? We were thinking of those venues that we all know and love down at the shore, all the way to those promoters and producers who are finding the next uh, bon Jovi or Queen Latifah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of what we've seen throughout the the whole relief process um, was the fact that some of these mom and pop shops, be it performing arts centers um, or coffee shops, really needed this extra help. Uh, you're you're exactly right, and we understand that this sector, uh, the arts and culture sector, uh, you know, we want to make sure that they're able to survive and thrive through the COVID pandemic. These are the places that add, that make New Jersey the places that people want to live, work, and play. So the application portal, John, has only been open for a couple of days, but what can you tell us about how many businesses are applying already? Well, we're getting a lot of interest in that. Uh, I wanted to say that, uh, and while we are getting a lot of interest, we want to make sure that everybody's able to apply. And so that's at business.nj.gov backslash COVID. Uh, and we encourage people to get online as soon as they can, because the application is a first come first served. How is the amount uh, calculated and how quickly can we expect some of these places to start seeing that money come in? Well, we're calculating it based on 30% uh, of operating revenue up to 300,000. That's a loss between 2019, 2020. So 30% of that up to 300,000. And the, uh, we've, brought on, uh, we've brought on staff. Uh, it's an all hands on deck effort with, uh, with multiple partners across the board from the governor's office to uh, other state agencies to really try to get this money out directed to the industry in the uh, most efficient way possible. So it sounds like as quickly as possible, those checks will go out. John Costello, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.